Hi, dear students, how are you? How, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you the top 10 movies of the 23 and will remain in top in 24. Number 1 is the zone of interest. This is the picture of zone of interest. The Zone of Interest is a 2013-23 historical drama film written and directed by Jonathan Glazer based on the novel of same name by Martin Amis. In 1943, Estuvis Commandant Rodolf Hoss lives with his wife Hedwig and their five children in an idyllic home next to the camp or concentration camp. Haas takes the children out to swim and fish and Hedwig spends much of her time tending the garden. Servants handle chores around the house while the prisoners belonging are given to family. Beyond the garden walls Gunshots, shouting, and sounds of train and furnaces are constantly heard. Hoss approves the design of a new ceremonial which soon becomes operational. One day, Hoss notices human remains in the river. He quickly gets his children out of the water before sending a note to camp personnel, chastising them for their carelessness. It was persecution by military. Haas and his family tried to shift, but circumstances left no choice. Left no choice. The film is very nice and worth watching about the persecution. Second name is Theatre Camp and this is the picture of Theatre Camp it, um, directed by Molly Gordon and Nick Liberman. Theatre Camp is a film in which few kids were playing as an actors since childhood and became adult and still working there in theatre. This movie not only brings the laugh but also resonates deeply with its target target audience. Film is combination of good actors working as a team. The cast is excellent. They really performed their role very well. Adding to the overall charm of movie. It is a film that not only entertains but also celebrates the theater community. Number three, very important film, Anatomy of Fall. This is the wife, husband and wife and this is the main picture of the film. The film is written and directed by Justin Treat. In this movie, a woman is supposed, woman or wife is supposed of her husband's murder and their blind son faces a moral dilemma as the main witness. This film is filled with constant air of suspicion and trustworthiness. The movie is of atmosphere of constant questioning and proving innocence of wife in the courtroom. It is long game of doubt and logic, especially when it is placed between the claustrophobia of the courtroom and isolation and beauty of their snowbound home. It depicts the conditions of an innocent entangled in miseries. It is based on the intrigues of people. Number 4. How to Blow Up a Pipeline this is the picture of uh, film, How to Blow Up a Pipeline. The film 
follows a fictional, fictional group of eight young individuals who decide to blow up uh, an oil pipeline at two key locations. It explores the moral validity of extreme actions in addressing the climate crisis, the question of terrorism and the use of property, damage and sabotage as activist tactics. The movie was excellent, well made, well acted, well placed. It was an engaging story with surprising twist. Of course, it had a crucial message to do all to stop the climate crisis by transitioning away from fossil fuel as quickly and boldly. Number 5. Killers of the Flower Moon This is the picture of killer, killer, Killers of the Flower Moon, based on the book The Same Named by author David Graham, the film looks at the fascinating and disturbing story of the Osage murders, a real-life drama that shook Oklahoma in 1920s. The movie recounts how the Osage were killed from far control of oil rights that were making them wealthy. The film also explores the marriage between a white man played by Leonardo DiCaprio and his Osage wife played by Gladys Stone. In the 1920s, at least 60 Osage people were murdered or went missing in Oklahoma. Their white killers often married the victims before dispatching them with shares of tribes, immense oil profit at stake. The scheme made them rich. Number six, very important, very touchy film. Are you their God? It is me, Margaret. This is a picture of two sisters and mother. It is very interesting film. Are you their God? Someone is asking to God, are you there? It is me, Margaret. It is a story of a girl surrounded between two religions. It is a, a 223 American coming of age comedy drama film written and directed by Kelly Freeman Craig. Based on 1970 novel, Margaret Simon, is girl Margaret Simon, is just 11 when her family moves from New York City to Fort Brook, New Jersey. Margaret's mother is Christian, and her father is Jew Jewish. Margaret has been raised without an affiliation of either faith and does not practice an organized religion. Although she frequently prayed to God in her own words, beginning by saying, Are you there, God? It is me, Margaret. She is beginning to feel uncomfortable with her lack of a religious affiliation. For a school assignment, she chooses to study people's religious belief, hoping to resolve the question of her own religion in the process. Part of her study involves attending different places of worship to better understand religious practice and also to see if one of them might be right for her. She enjoys spending time with her Jewish paternal grandmother, Sylvia Simon, who loves her as she is and hopes Margaret will embrace Judaism. After taking her to her synagogue for Rosh Hashanah services. Number 7. Napoleon Napoleon Bonaparte, a statesman of France, 
a look at the military commander's origin and a swift, ruthless climb to position of emperor, viewed through the prism of his addictive and often volatile relationship with his wife and one to love, Josephine. It is about the life of Napoleon. The film is a history of struggle and miserable ending of a um, big man. Number 8 is Blackberry. This is picture of Blackberry. The Blackberry film is inspired by the true story of the creation of world's first smartphone. It was also loosely adapted from the novel Losing the Signal, the untold story behind the extraordinary rise and spectacular fall of Blackberry. It is about rise and fall of, co of a commodity or a nation or an empire. Number 9, Earth Mama. It is a very good um, film of relationships, of natural relationships. It is a story and natural feeling of a mother. How mother looks to her world, this world. No man can realize this. A moving story that shows a young woman experience with the foster care system manages to express emotion without exploitation or claiming to know the answer. A devastating and evocative portrait of motherhood reflected through the prism of race and class. Set in the Bay Area, the film follows Jia as the contents that she contains with pregnancy and poverty while looking, longing for her children who have been placed in foster care and dodging child protective services in the fear that they shall take her soon to be born baby from her as well. It is a film about the feeling of sincere relations in human nature of mother, how mother looks to the world or to the people or to his children. It is worth watching some movie. Number 10 Master Gardener Number 10 Master Gardener Master Gardener is an American crime thriller film written and directed by Paul Schrader. It is a gorgeous movie filled with fields of flower and excellence performance by actors based on relationship. It is also a film of uh, sincerity or performance or uh, accomplishment of relationship among people. Wish you good luck. Take care of yourself. See you in next video. Thank you.